welcome um hey this is our second episode of artsy tales i'm hat your host and i have my cup of coffee here i'm surrounded by beautiful flowers an enchanted forest behind me now unfortunately this came in a little bit large i originally uh well i didn't realize how big it was and so i ended up cutting it and now it's too short so i gotta figure that out um hopefully next time i can figure it out so there's a way where it just expands all across the background easily um if anything i think a board of some kind might be helpful not really sure there we go no i think i'll put it here yeah i like that okay so anyway um yeah so welcome uh, today we're going to transport ourselves into another world, as we should be doing in Artsy Tales, and um, today's story is about a dragon. So if you like dragons, join me, uh, pull up a chair, grab your creative tools, whether they're a paintbrush, pencil, pens, markers, acrylic paints, watercolors, carving tools, whatever you use to get creative, scrapbooking, and let's get creative together. If you or a friend you know has a fantasy original short story they would like to share with me for me to tell on Artsy Tales, you can email me at salvationbridgeart at gmail.com. That's salvationbridgeart at gmail.com and um, go ahead and email me your story and I'll take a look at it. If I do feel like it's a story I can illustrate and tell, um, I will give you full credits for the story by telling who the author is and uh, you will get the art that I make of your story at the end. Um, so it's just a fun opportunity to share stories and really um, play with our imagination together. This ooh, looks like my cat's getting into stuff, as cats do. Um, the whole point of RC Tales is to be able to lose ourselves in a place of magic and wonder um, and just forget the day to day hubbub. Ugh. Anywho, so I hope you'll join me. Let's get started with today's tale. Okay, so this story, I'm really excited to tell you guys. Um, it makes me really happy, and I'm pretty um, comfortable with the way it turned out. So, <clears throat> without further ado, do, 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 do. let me open up my handy dandy book here. If I can, I kind of tied it too tight. Come on, come on. Here we go. There we go. All right. So we're going to open our book of wonders here. And here we go. <clears throat> Today's story is called Twig the Invisible. Upon the highest cloud, right before one would breach the world's atmosphere and break into the stars, resided the kingdom of dragons. This kingdom was a beautiful place. The sky was always clear and full of glowing lights. Vivid flowers bloomed everywhere, and winter never came. It was a happy place one would imagine, and it was full, <clears throat> excuse me, first blooper, mess up, it was a happy place, one would imagine, and it was, for most dragons, except 
for one. Twig received his name because his mother had stepped on a branch and with its crack, quickly went into labor, as if the breaking branch had caused her to do so. Twig, unlike other dragons, was born gray as stone. The ones Twig knew of adorned vibrant colors of red, blue, and green. But much like Twig's name, Twig was also rather small for his race. His parents were towering giants, yet he could barely reach their ankles. Twig, however, used this to his advantage and hid rather perfectly. He could cram himself in any cranny and snook himself into any nook. Okay, I lost my place. There we go. And his gray color would blur into the background, which made him almost invisible. While Twig found some sort of solace in his talent for hiding, he also wished he wasn't such a dull color, as when he did, <clears throat> excuse me, second blooper, as when he did want to stand out, he often failed. Even his own mother would walk by him without realizing he wasn't there. I mean, he was there, but she didn't know it. <clears throat> anyway, other dragons would call him creepy as I told him he was always sneaking around. And that wasn't entirely true. Twig never purposely hid himself from others unnecessarily. He only did so if he felt he was in danger. He often attempted to approach other dragons and say hello, only to be nearly stepped on or smacked by a wing or tail. On a particularly sad day for Twig, he flew amongst some flowers, looking for a good bed to take a midday nap. That cloud flower looks comfortable. <clears throat> Lost my place again. That cloud flower <laughs> looks comfortable, he sighed, and swooped down to rest. He was tired of trying to grab others' attentions and simply wanted to nap in peace. The cloud flower was fluffy and warm from basking in the sun, so he tucked in his wings and closed his eyes. As he began to fall asleep, he felt a tickle on the tip of his wings. He shook his wing and once again attempted to sleep. But the tickle started up again. Wondering what it was, Twig opened one eye to see what was touching his wing. He jumped into the air and screamed, SPIDER! A large black spider had perched itself along the rim of the flower, its eight yellow eyes glowing and peered up at Twig. Sp spider? Where? I thought I lost them. The spider screeched and began to scurry frantically in circles. Twig drooped his head and hovered closer to the flower. I meant you, Twig timidly said. The spider froze with its front legs up in the air. Oh, it replied. Well, that's a relief. It lowered its legs and sighed. Whew. You're, you're, you're scared of other sp sp spiders, Twig asked, still shaking with fear. The spider let out a squeaky laugh. <laughs> of course I am. We eat each other. Only the strong survive, you know. But me, I don't eat other spiders. My favorite food is pollen or nectar. And cloud flowers are my favorite. I'm a uh, kind of a reject. The spider sank into the flower and sulked. Me too! Twig excitedly smiled. He was no longer afraid and plopped his bottom back down upon the flower. You are? That's great! I mean, oh, that stinks. 
the spider replied shyly. Twig was so happy to meet someone he could relate to that his tail began to wag. Thump, 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 thump. I'm Twig, who are you? He asked. Oh, I'm Flower 2383. My, my mom, <laughs> bleh, bleh, bleh. do over. Oh, I'm Flower 2383. My mom laid me and my siblings on a daisy and named us all Flower. We tell each other apart by numbers. You can call me 2383 if you want. The spider replied while nervously tapping his toes. Wow, that must be overwhelming having such a large family, Twig explained. Oh, it's terrifying. I'm lucky I made it out alive. And of course, my mom didn't help. After I had escaped the nest, she tried to eat me too. Sorry, son, but this is for your own good. If you want to live, you have to escape me, she says. I know best, she says. Ugh. Parents. 2,383 rolled his eyes. Twig was lost on what to say. He looked down at the ground, wondering how he should respond. He could never imagine living such a life. It's okay. Spiders live a life entirely different from dragons. It's all about survival, right from when we are born to when we die. 2,383 said after sensing Twig's confusion. I'm sorry, that sounds really hard, Twig sighed. Maybe, but that doesn't mean that there aren't others who struggle too. This kingdom is so big. I bet dragon problems are just as humongous. 2,383 raised his two front arms with emphasis. I don't think so. At least, not for other dragons. As for me, no one ever notices me. I'm too dull and short. So I don't have to worry too much about being eaten, Twig complained. Sounds lonely, 2,383 frowned. Twig raised his head in surprise. He didn't expect to be understood so easily. It really is. He began to tear up. Well, I notice you. I saw you on this flower. And then a blood sucky fly started flying towards you and landed on your wing. And I couldn't just not do anything about it since I was right there, so I scared it away. 2,383 bo boasted with pride. His eight eyes smiled. That's what tickled me? A blood sucky fly? That's so kind of you. Thank you. Twig smiled as tears of joy streamed down his cheeks. No one had ever noticed him, let alone done anything so kind. That's right. Aren't I great? 2,383 laughed. You're wonderful, Twig exclaimed, and embraced 2,383 in a tight hug. The spider wiggled around as he tried to catch his breath. Too tight, 2,383 squeaked. Oh, sorry. Twig quickly released his new friend. Phew, I thought I was a goner, 2,383 popped. Thank you, 2,383. You reminded me that there are others out there who still see me. And I don't go unnoticed all the time. Twig bowed in thanks. Of course you're noticed. You exist. Even if some dragons don't see you, other creatures will, and I do. 2383 animated his legs as he spoke. Speaking of which... You wouldn't happen to be willing to fly me away from here, would you? My sister's after me, and I gotta get a move on, otherwise I might be take out. 2,383 shivered from the thought. Absolutely! From now on, you're my flying partner. I'll fly you anywhere you want to go, Twig jumped with joy. That's awesome! I really owe you one, Twig. You're the greatest dragon ever! 2,383 hopped happily. Twig had never heard such kind words. He was filled to the brim with utter bliss. 
he no longer felt invisible and finally had a friend who noticed him. Together, Twig in 2383 flew away and enjoyed many exciting adventures together throughout the rest of their lives. All right, and that's that. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my sickeningly sweet story. I'm really having fun voice acting. Um, I definitely want to get into voices much more. And I also want to get some equipment for uh, um, sound effects, like prop sound effects. So I'll, that's in the works as well. Again, if you or a friend have a story that you would like to share and you would like me to read, please email me at salvationbridgeart at gmail.com. Um, Please like this video if you enjoyed my story. Share it with friends and family who you think would enjoy it. Um, subscribe to my channel so you don't mix, miss the next Artsy Tales. And thank you once again for joining me. Know that you are loved and have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye!